Hello, meow, 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 everyone. Uh, we've got some news. We've got a new um, uh, community pit stop upgrade system rework. Uh, this is quite a shock, actually. I woke up this morning and saw this after posting the video, and wow. So I thought I'd give you my, um, my reactions to it. I see there's a lot of charts in here. My cat's meowing at me. Hello, what are you doing? Are you good boy. So let's, you know, this might not be an interesting video depending on what it is, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens. I'm very interested to read it. So let's just get into it. Changes coming to upgrade parts and racer shards. Hey racers, today we're sharing details on a rework of how players will upgrade and star up their races in Disney Speedstorm beginning in season seven. The important goals of this rework are to simplify the upgrade part system by converting all upgrade parts into a single currency called upgrade coins, coins, which can be used on all races. Create a closer link between racer upgrade levels and racer star levels. Create short to medium term goals between racer star levels. Okay, this is interesting. Um, uh, uh, I have thoughts, but I suppose we'll just keep reading. The new system should be simpler, more engaging experience for players, giving more value and utility to each and every racer shard you earn. This will, simp this will apply to all existing races and those joining the race season seven and beyond. Your current inventory of, race, uh, of upgrade parts will automatically convert to the equivalent amount in upgrade coins at the start of season seven. Given upgrade coins can be used to upgrade any race, so the utility of your inventory will increase. So my thoughts on this, I have multiple different thoughts. One, I feel like this is a good change. It's, it's, it's a good and bad change. It's a good change because we've been sort of asking for a uh, conversion system for a while now because there's been so many upgrade parts that people are just sort of sleeping on. They're, they're just excessive. The amount of upgrade parts they've given uh, since the ranked changes, the ranked rewards changes, it's been, they've given us so many of these like ice cubes and whatever the little mermaid parts are. We, we basically don't need them. Uh, and I've got so many single and double cans. So I suppose this is their solution to that because we've had so many items. So this will hopefully mean that I can get all my characters leveled up. My, my thoughts on it, Mm. My, 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 for me personally, I actually really liked the upgrade system the way it was. I, it was probably a little bit, you know, complex and convoluted, but I, I enjoy the process of leveling up. I don't know if that's, uh, if you guys can agree, but for me, I like the, uh, the idea of, you know, hopping on a day, choosing who I want, getting the parts for it, and then sort of leveling them up. Yes, it is a grind. Uh, it was a really, really massive grind for some characters, and I think they needed to change it because... Uh, for like buzz or epic characters, I should say. But a friend of mine has buzz and it would take him a whole season to get from 40 to 10. And I thought that was uh, 40 to 50. And that was ridiculous. Like it takes way too long. So I suppose this might speed it up. This might speed up the process actually. Um, on another side of things, it, it kind of seems kind of lazy. Um, it seems like a solution to multiple things. Like, yes, it makes it easier for people, but it also makes it easier for the dev team to not have to like create models for all these little upgrade parts and stuff. It's a, it's almost a bit of a shame. It feels like a bit of a waste. Um, we'll have to wait and see though. Cause you, that, that is the, um, you know, it is a gacha game and that is the nuance to an, a gacha game is you hop on. Like if you play a game like Genshin or Star Rail, you, you need specific upgrade parts. You, you have to go, you have to get them, use them for your character. I don't know. I do like the whole aspect of leveling up, but I know a lot of people obviously don't like that. So we'll see. It might still be, we'll keep reading. We'll see um, what it says. Current progression system, racer shards and upgrade parts synergy in the current progression system. Players are required to earn 10 racer shards to unlock a racer. Once unlocked, a racer stats can be improved by using upgrade parts until they reach the next star up limit of upgrade level 15. Players are then required to earn an additional 20 racer shards to unlock star level two before they can continue to improve their racer stats further and with upgrade parts. Okay, yes. So is this the current system? It looks like, yeah, 1, 20, 35, 50, 85, yep. 115 for four stars, makes sense. 200 in total, yes. 
15, 25, 35, 45, 50. Shards, her upgrade level. Yeah, you need progressively more and more um, shards. Yeah, basically. So total shards accumulated to reach this point. Okay, this system continues until players reach five stars and race upgrade level 50 to max out a racer. Players are currently... Uh, players are, uh, are currently not required to increase their race upgrades, upgrade level alongside their star ups. However, for example, it's possible to have a racer at five stars. Possible to have a racer at five stars and a racer level one. Yes, that is true. You can have a five star character at level racer one. Are they making it mandatory to level up the characters? That's actually a solution that could fix ranked. Like make it more balanced. You know what I mean? This creates a disconnect between the two key parts of the upgrade system and only gives a sense of reward and value to the final racer shard required to reach the next star up bracket. Our goal is to create more synergy between the two key aspects, while also making every racer shard earned feel more valuable and impactful. Well, that's good because one gosh darn issue with, you know, requiring more racer shards to level up is that you're not getting nearly as many stats. Like, and this might, this might be a thing for... Uh, I'm not going to explain it. Basically, crew, uh, crew levels, like, you, you require more shards for crew, but you're getting less points as it goes up. This actually might not be the same for characters. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just keep reading. New progression system, star levels. The new progression system will see both upgrade parts and racer shards work in unison to improve your racer stats. 10 racer shards are still required to unlock a racer in the new progression system, but now a small number of racer shards will be required to increase your racer level in addition to upgrade points. For example, under the current progression system, Leveling up to race a level 10 required energy cans. Yes, energy duos, racing helmets. Under the new system, players will need to spend nine of the 10 racer shards they earned to unlock the racer, in addition to 20,090 upgrade coins to reach racer level upgrade 10. Two, shard, two racer shards per racer level are required from racers, okay. And this increases incrementally to a maximum of 10 racer shards per racer level. 10 racer shards per racer upgrade level. Upgrade levels 48 and 50. Finally, under the current progression system, star ups were achieved purely by earning a certain number of racer shards. Each star up also has racer upgrade levels capped at, yep, 15, 25, 35, 45, 50. Under the new system with star up racers, okay, now working in tandem, racer star ups will now happen at racer upgrade levels 20, 30, 40, and 50. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so I like that. I think it was absolutely stupid. That's what I was saying before. It's absolutely stupid that it goes from 45 to 50 because basically, like, you are spending just to go up five levels. Like, from 45 to 50, that's five levels compared to the usual 10, and you would need literally 85 stars just to get there. So now that it's 10, 20, 30, 40, now it's actually evened out a little bit. Um... Let's let's look let's have a look at this. Racer upgrade level one, racer shard cost. Okay. Ooh. Racer shard cost. I want to do the math. I really, really, really. Because here's the thing: you need a total of 200 in the past to get to five stars. I want to know if that's the same. One star at upgrade level one. Two stars. Oh, so in, wait, what the f Oh, hang on. No, that's an issue. No, that's a problem, guys. We actually have a problem. Oh, no. So in order to get a five-star character, you have to be level 50, which basically means if you don't... Like, if, if you have a five-star character now, that means you're not going to have the crew slots. You're going to... You're going to... You're going to... 
are you are they seriously going to remove our crew slots like if i have a well how's that going to work if i have a level one five star hans are they just going to remove all my stars because i've only have a level one uh does it say anything here about it we'll have to um read a little bit more uh okay i i really really want to do the maths one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. That's technically twenty, because you could include this one. That's twenty. Okay. Three, six, nine, two. I'll do the maths later. I won't do it in this recording. Um, well, maybe I'll just quickly pause the recording and I'll come back. Okay, so it actually works out to be the exact same. So it's 200. So it, it works out to be the exact same. So at 200 shards, you will be at five star. At 115, you'll be at four star. And I think it will be the same for these as well. Uh, it actually might be a little bit different for this one. The two stars though. I think it says 30. I'm not too sure. I think it's pretty much the same. It's the, it's the same overall. So let me see this. We are further simplifying the upgrade part system in game to make it easier to understand while giving players more agency on races uh, on which races to upgrade and when. We are converting 11 different universal upgrade parts and 66 collection based upgrade parts into a single currency called upgrade coins that can be used on all races regardless of race or class or collection. Your current inventory will convert to the equivalent amount of upgrade coins at the start of season seven the main difference is that players will be able to upgrade races upgrade all races with a single currency okay we have outlined the number of upgrade coins needed per race level in the table below if a player runs out of upgrade coins but has the required number of upgrade number uh hang on if a play if a player runs out of upgrade coins but has the required number of racer shards to reach the next level, it will be possible to use tokens instead of upgrade coins to reach the next racer upgrade level. Uh, upgrade coin cost. Racer level upgrade. Okay. Okay. Um... Uh, okay, so we've got some problems. This does not tell us. This is all well and good. I don't mind this, but th there's one big issue. Where's the table telling me how many coins I'm going to get? Like, I would have thought it'd be like, oh, okay, this equates to this amount of coins. This equates to this amount of coins. I'd like to know how many coins I'm getting. Maybe they haven't decided that themselves, but I really want to know how many coins I'm getting so I can do the math but they're not giving that to us here. But not only that, I have issues with this. Because what does this mean? It means you can't get to five star. Five stars, okay, so five, why can't I highlight that? Five stars at upgrade level 50. So what does this mean for your current races? Does that mean my Hans that's level 42 is gonna be reverted back to level, like it's gonna be reverted back to four star? Does that mean he's going to go back to four star because he's not at level 50? You know what I mean? And because he's going back to four star, that means I lose a crew slot. That means I lose stats. You know, I could have a maxed out crew slot and now I've lost that crew slot and now I need to upgrade him to 50 just to get it back. You know, you could have, like, for instance... I had a Celia May at four stars, right? I had a Celia May at four stars, but she was only like level 20. This is a few seasons ago. So are you telling me that I would have just lost two crew slots and she would have just went back to level 20? And what happens to the shards that I have? Do, I, do they go into my inventory? Like if I have a character at five stars, does that mean I have a total of 200 shards? Or do I have to re-get all of these shards? Like, are they gonna are they gonna refund me my shards so I can spend them to level up? There you go. That's a better. That okay. There's no. The, the, where's the rest? Game loft. There should be more. 
where's all this explanation? There's nothing here. For example, under the current progression system, reason. Uh, okay. Uh, racer star ups will now happen at racer levels upgrade 20, 30, 40, and 50. This is interesting, guys. I don't know what's going to happen. Like, the way I think it should happen, which I don't think it will, like, if I have a character at five stars, like, look, like my Hans or my Kristoff or my Stitch. My Stitch is level 40, but he's at five stars. So does that mean... Because he's at five stars, they're just going to take him straight to level 50 and I get all those extra stat increases. I don't think they'd do that. I don't think they would do that. They're probably going to revert him back to level 40. And do I get a refund? Oh my God, this is so... I need to have a look at the Discord, everyone. These are just my reactions. I don't know if I like this. There's not enough information here. I'm going to have to go look at the Discord. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Let me know your comments. Let me know your thoughts and comments, everyone. See you. Ciao, ciao, meow. <laughs> oh, gosh.